How much do you know about the Moldovan Railways? Perhaps you might have heard of the Chisinau to Bucharest night train. But what do you know about their most frequently run rail service? And the story about how they converted their old trains into this? Let's find out as we take one of the two daily trains from Yasi Sokola station to Chisinau. Our journey starts on this dirt path leading to Yasi Sokola station. There does seem to be a special bus service running out here from the city center, but I couldn't find the timetable for it. Yasi does have a more centrally located railway station, but our train is running on wider Russian gauge tracks that only extends as far as the station here, and not all the way into the city center unfortunately. What the station does feature however is a cute cat, which I'm allergic to so I'm gonna leave him alone. The station seems to be more of a personnel base for freight operations rather than an actual passenger railway station. But at least in our case, it seems like our train is already waiting out on the platform. This is one of CFM Moldovan Railway's D1M multiple units, capable of speeds of up to 120 km per hour. These are a heavy modification of the original D1 train, but more on that later. Anyway, I think it's time for us to prepare to head on board this train. Three classes of travel are offered on board, including 1st, 2nd and 3rd class. We'll be travelling in 1st today, which is located towards the front of the train. And sadly, as with most rail travel in this part of the world, there's no step-free access or anything of those sorts. And here we are at my seat. One of the solo seats in the first class cabin. We leave Yasi Sokola station at 10.42, a few minutes behind schedule. Our train then continues very slowly to pass through the big railway yard around here. And not that long afterwards, we have left Yasi completely behind. This is also around this time, the guard will come through the train and check tickets. This train offers online tickets. But even when you have booked and paid online, then you will still be handed a physical ticket once on board. We might not be making many station stops, but the train is definitely not setting any speed records, as we are mostly running at speeds around 30 to 50 km per hour. And speaking of station stops, why don't we take a closer look at the route map for today's journey? We are on board train number 822 from Yasi Sokola to Chisinau, with scheduled stops in Ungheni, Kalarasi, Straseni and finally Chisinau. This is scheduled to take 4 hours and 25 minutes to cover the distance of 126 km, which gives the train an average speed of a staggering 28 km per hour. Our first stop is Ungheni, on the Romanian side of the river splitting the town in two. Here we are stamped out of the EU, which is all done on board the train by the border officers. Once that has been completed, our train can now move on towards Moldova. And now that we are crossing the river, we are now entering Moldova. Border control is once again carried out on board the train while it's waiting at the platform. And after explaining to the border guard I was mostly just here to ride trains, I got stamped into Moldova. The train is scheduled to sit here for quite some time, presumably in case there is a lot of passports to check. But once border control has completed their work, you are free to go and stretch your legs while we await departure. And now that we are on the move again, I think it's about time we go and explore the rest of the train. 
Starting with the mandatory toilet review. It actually looks to be in a decent shape. The door is easily locked. And that also turns on the lights. The water is working. There's some soap as well. It was stuck with toilet paper. And it's looking fairly clean. So, especially considering the part of the world we're in, this is actually fairly good. This is third class, which is the cheapest offering on board this train. And if we proceed a bit further down, we'll go to second class, which is as expected in a 2 plus 2 layout. The seats, however, look very uncomfortable and plasticky. But these trains have been retrofitted with power outlets here in second class. And there's even a small onboard snack bar. And finally here, all the way at the front, is where first class is. Here in Moldova, the already slow train seems to have gotten even slower. The train is barely moving at more than 30 km per hour. And I'm guessing, apart from the track quality, this might also have a little to do with the history of these trains themselves. As these trains are really just a major refurbishment, or rebuild if you will, of an older D1 train which is a train design from the 1960s. Meaning these trains on a technical standpoint are very old, but they have done a great job bringing the interior up to modern standards. Which brings me to the seat tour. There's a nice sturdy tray table, as well as a storage nest, a footrest which can be moved, a small table that can also work as a bin, The armrests are slightly padded, and you will find a power outlet as well. The seats themselves are soft and comfortable, perfectly good for this four and a half hour journey. We make a few intermediate stops on our way to the Moldovan capital, such as here in Kalarasi, a city that was almost completely destroyed in World War II. And therefore many of the buildings standing today are from after the war. The further the train proceeds towards the center of Moldova, the more misty and mysterious the weather seems to get. And it's not long after we catch the first glimpse of some of Kisinau's suburban apartment blocks, meaning our journey is almost coming to an end. The Moldovan railways are actually fairly modern and sells tickets online for their Yasi as well as Bucharest and Kiev trains. The website is very basic but it takes credit cards from abroad with no issue and I was easily able to purchase a ticket on their website that was then sent to me by email. And priced at just 130 Moldovan lei, or about 7 euros for a ticket in first class, I will say this is exceptional value for a journey taking well over 4 hours. In general, trains in Moldova are great value, including the sleeper to Bucharest, which I've already released a video about on my channel, where the border control went a lot less smooth than in this video. You can check it out by pressing the card in the top right hand corner of this video. And just like that, we are now approaching the main station here in Kisinau. It might not have been a particularly fast journey, but it's perfectly comfortable and the train is on time. Thank you so much for joining me on today's trip. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel, I try to upload a new video every Sunday. You can also follow me over on Twitter at InterCitySimon, where I post live for my travels. It's also a great place to get a sneak peek at what videos might be coming in the future. The station here in Kisinau only sees about 2-4 to four trains per day, not a lot for an entire country. But I was very happy that I got to see the recently relaunched night train to Ukraine, departing that night. I hope I'll get the chance to travel on it sometime in the future. But until then, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll hopefully see you back for another one soon.